Hello. Hello. The question I want to ask is pretty specific, and I need to know what I'm supposed to do. All of you want to know what you're supposed to do, and we will always say the same thing. None of you are supposed to do anything. Supposed to, supposed to, supposed to. Take that word and throw it away and never use it again. That's what you're supposed to do. Then how do I find my new path? My new purpose? You're already on your new path. You're already on your new purpose. You're already living your life. You're already taking strides and steps in that direction. But getting fixated that you're supposed to be doing something will feel as though you're being held back. It will feel as though you're confined inside of a box that you can't get out of, yes? because you are fixated on the fact that there's something bigger and better that you're supposed to be doing that the world around you expects you to do. All of you, all of you are prone to do this, including your friend sitting in the chair. She's not exempt either. The idea of supposed to, listen to those words and feel how they make you feel. Supposed to clenches the body, yes? Does it not tighten you up? Yes. Does it not make you feel as though you're being told to do something? Yes. Who likes to be told to do something? Me. We hear no yeses, no me's. None of you, none of you want to be told what to do. The reason why is very simple, your free will beings. As a free will being, you want to be able to choose your own path. You want to be able to choose your own career. You want to be able to choose your own partner. You want to be able to choose your own restaurant. This doesn't mean that cooperation doesn't come into play because that's key to being a human being as well, but nobody responds to being told what to do. So right now, you are telling yourself what to do and what you're telling yourself to do is that there's something out there that you need to be doing and you're not doing it soon enough, you're not doing it well enough, you're not finding it and therefore it's all a big fat failure, yes? Yes. Well, it's not. Because everything that you're doing in your life is perfect up to this point, even when it feels, it feels as though it's not but it truly is. And the reason why is because there is no such thing as success or failure. As a human being, this is how you gauge things, but from a vibratory level, there isn't. All that you need to do, all that you need to do is understand that you are part of source creation. You are part of a divine, intelligent source. And within that source, you have everything everything at your disposal, everything that you need, all the opportunities that you require, everything that you desire is within your reach and within your grasp and within your field. But the trick is to align with that field so that you can experience it, so that it can flow through to you, so that you can see the poster that you need to see, so that you can see the event that you need to see, so that you can see the job posting that you need to see, so that you can see the training that you wanna take. When you live from the state of supposed to and fixated on a, on a certain outcome, the blinders are on and you're going to miss all of the ships sailing the seas. Yes? Yes. So do I stop myself because of my um, physical condition? Do I you myself? use that sometimes, yes. Yes, but I use that. You do use that, yes. Okay. And there are certain... As a human being, you're going to have certain things to work around, yes? Not all of you are going to be climbing to the top of Mount Everest. Not all of you are going to be rocket scientists. Not all of you are going to be mathematicians because your qualities and your interests and your, your fundamentals of who you are might not be in alignment per se with that. But they might be and you might just not think that they are because you've been told your whole life that you're not good at math, yes? But through being authentic and through the idea of self-awareness and learning to understand yourself, developing a relationship with yourself, you will begin to see and understand yourself more clearly. Removing all of the filters that you've adopted throughout time as being you on this planet, 
through all of the comments made, through all of the gestures made, through all of the actions, through all of the disharmony within your physical body, you have come to certain con conclusions about who you are and what your limitations are and what your gifts are and what your strongest attributes are. And up to this point, they might be totally off base. So start with understanding who you are authentically. Be honest with yourself and be open to experience whatever it is that you experience without judgment, without criticism, without the need to, to blame. Removing the idea of blame will catapult you so far forward, you don't even know where you're gonna land. You are not necessarily confined to what you consider to be limitations. So throw those ideas away and start from scratch. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome.